Let's say you scanned a drawing or a sketch of some kind, right? Some artists will paint over this because they want the digital brush or the shape tool to be the content of the image and not the sketch. But for those of us who want to keep our line art or color under our line art, or even color the line art itself, we're kind of stuck. What do we do? Well, here's the steps for making your line art its own layer in Photoshop. Hi, I'm Robin, and this is how to separate your line art from the white of the paper using Adobe Photoshop. Before we get to Photoshop though, we need to talk about scanning. After all, I'm gonna need to scan this drawing to get it on the computer in the first place. I always scan in my content at 300 dpi, which is large enough for most things you're gonna be working with. I also want to ensure it's scanned in at grayscale, as scanning as a color image won't work for what we're doing today. Also, if you see an option labeled black and white, don't do this. You'll lose all additional information between black and white, and the image will suffer for this. Now we're in Photoshop. First, we gotta double click down here on the layer, and click right here on OK. Otherwise, if we don't do this, we won't be able to edit anything else in the file. I'm gonna take the chance right now to balance out the darks and lights by going to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Slash, Contrast. This will give me a chance to adjust the contrast of the image before we start finalizing certain things. Next, we're gonna finally start stripping the black from the white of the page. First, let's make a new layer by clicking down here, or by using the shortcut. Then, we'll head to Select, Load Selection. We'll make sure that in Channel, it says Background Gray. After that, we'll see a tab for Invert. Make sure to select this. After we hit OK, we'll see that everything that's gray or black has been selected. Make sure you're in that new layer we made before this step. OK, let's go to Edit, and then Fill. Let's switch the contents to black and hit OK. Now we can delete the old layer. Let's switch the color mode from grayscale to RGB by going to Image, Mode, RGB Color. At the window asking us to merge, make sure to hit Don't Merge. Otherwise, this will flatten your image and you'll be back to square one. And yeah, cool. Have fun coloring.